like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars spare me a few minutes and let me teach you that it is not within your power to just begin to do the will of God you have to be trained look up let me tell you let me give you a little crash course on how God trains you to do his will are you ready lecture number one he allows your will to fail you because he knows that the human spirit is so stubborn it will not easily allow God to take his place so he will be patient the way God trains you to trust his will is to be patient towards you while you do your thing he won't hate you he loves you but he needs to give you a reason to trust him he said trust in the Lord with all your heart Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path the next verse says be not wise in your own understanding that is the mission of that course to bring you to a point where in experience you stop being wise in your own understanding it says but fear the Lord and turn away from evil so here you are with all your you are a first class graduate respectfully speaking and that is wonderful you come from a privileged family respectfully speaking every time you see people worshiping and rolling on the ground and say God if I don't if you don't move I cannot go anywhere it doesn't make sense to you you are a sincere Christian but you are surrounded by too much advantage to make God necessary so what happens is that in the midst of what is supposed to work you will be surprised that you will do everything right listen there are times that you have the net to fish the net is correct there are times you are in the sea if it's fish you are looking for you should be in the river there are times you have a boat yet you will not catch fish at such times you don't need fishing again you need Jesus so when Jesus resurrected are you getting the program now because many of you, this is the season you are in spiritually. For a long time, you've heard preachers say, lay everything down. When you hear the language of surrender, you say, I'm not in ministry. Just allow the preachers to do that. Uh -uh. You see, in the gospel of salvation, you don't really give your life to Christ as we say. Even though we say it generically and we understand what we're saying. But you don't give your life to Christ. You receive his life. Giving your life to Christ is now what truly makes you a useful vessel in the kingdom surrender surrender is the language of those who will be mightily used by god they are not fools but they have learned that outside of god's influence over my life i don't trust what i can do the variables are too many and i am too limited even my lifetime will not give me an opportunity to educate myself by myself to handle all the variables that make for an excelling life that is the reason why you can find somebody who physically speaking everything around him is a disadvantage should not be having the results they are having you add everything up and that equation is unfair because as foolish as they were they found themselves in the will of God everybody who entered the house in in the days of uh, in, in Egypt you didn't have to be a wise man once you could enter the house and there was blood on your lintel you will be saved from death no matter how powerful you were if you were outside you would die so you see, behind all the applauds that you celebrate in quote celebrities in the kingdom, every wise person knows that all you are seeing is not a true reflection of my capacity. I am as weak as anything. My advantage and my confidence is by the leading of the spirit and the mercy of God. He meandered me to find my place in the will of God. And I found my rest in the will of God. No wonder he says, come unto me. All you who are who are low labor and that you are not he's not calling lazy people he's saying you have tried you won't get ministry that way man of God you are sincere it is true that you have done lessons and that is good someone one day met me and said apostle this thing about healing the sick I'm getting angry now because 
I've tried and tried and tried and it looks like I know it's the will of God for sick people to be healed but why can't I see this thing in my life I, I'm, I mean I've read I've did I'm, you know and he even said he had listened to my message and I told him I said my brother you have done all these things well you remind me of the rich man in the Bible that Jesus he said I've given to the poor he said this one thing go and sell all you have then follow me you know what he was telling him give up on everything that becomes the basis of your confidence depend on my will the man said this is hard i don't hate you but this is hard can i tell you when you understand the will of god the proof that you understand his will is that you will cry if you laugh you don't understand it yet because the will of god listen the will of god means that sometimes the entire everything you have stood upon all your life even if it is Isaac who represents your future, you are willing to give it. Do you know what it means to stand in the will of God? To lose the ability to tell him no. That you can be in Lagos for 30 years and God can say it's time for you to move to Abel Kuta or Ondo State or to move to Bauchi State. And you know it's God. It is his responsibility to bring all the verification systems you need. But if and when you know it is him, it is now up to you to say, Lord, I don't know where you are taking me to, but let me be stupid enough to go. Read the stories of champions in scripture. Some of them moved like fugitives, only led by the will of God. There was no guarantee anywhere. There are some of you, you came for this meeting tonight and while you are sitting, God is answering you now. And say, the reason why your entire life is marking time is not because you are not praying. It's not because you are not fasting. But notice the 10% answers to your life is the part that came close to his will. The part that is outside his will seems to not... The, the purpose of the fasting is not his will. The fasting is just a system to twist God's hand to make sure your will comes to pass. And he says, no, you can fast for 100 days. If it is your will you are trying to bring, you will use your energy and your strength. We're going to wrap up. Just give me two or three minutes and we're done. God brought us tonight. In fact, if you will title this message tonight, maybe you will call it, Thy Will Be Done. That is the secret of the manifestation of the kingdom in your life. Let me tell you this. This kingdom is not just about excessive intelligence or over dependence on the flesh. There is a place for these things. But there is already a system in God's economy where weak men can be strong. There is already a system in God's economy where some of us who did not have the privilege of an advantage, whether territorially speaking, because if it depends on just intelligence and skill and connection, some of us don't have a place. But hallelujah, his will is that leverage. His will is where the advantage is. Hallelujah. So the Lord is speaking to you and telling you that I'm going to use you. Listen. Do you know what made Mary special? It was not the pregnancy. It was the fact that she was willing to inconvenience herself. The angel came to say you are highly favored and said, listen, now something is about to happen to you. You are going to be pregnant, but this pregnancy will bring trouble to you. However, in that trouble is the will of God. Are you willing? Mary thought about it. She said, okay, how shall these things be? At least explain to me. And the angel took time. That's how far God can go when he knows you are ready to do his will. He will come to you and explain and say, this is what I'm about doing. Are, are, you, are you learning now? Listen very carefully. The will of God. When you find the will of God and you plunge into it, do you know that the salvation of the Gentile church came because of men who could understand the will of God. Peter was up having siesta and then he saw a vision and he kill and eat and all of that. It gave him a revelation. And when they came to look for him from the house of Cornelius, knowing it was the will of God, he came down. He said, I am here. Let's go. It was that lecture 
that brought the salvation of the Gentiles. Just because God wanted the Gentiles to be saved did not mean they would have been saved. It depended on men. Can I tell you, the will of God over many families has been crying. It cried during the time of your grandfather. He lived his life and ignored the will. Whereas in God's blueprint, his will was that your family will become a voice. But your grandfather went around doing his thing. Respectfully speaking, some of you, your parents went about doing their things. Out of seven of you, all six have rejected the will of God, living their lives. Lord, don't interrupt me. Let me do what social media says I should do. Let me do what this says I should do. But God brought you tonight that you will say, Thy will. Thy will. I may not understand it, but Thy will be done. That it is time for the glory of this kingdom. It is time for the power of this kingdom to find expression. Enough of living a defeated life. Enough of living a frustrated life. Reading things and preaching things you cannot explain or you cannot defend. That your life ought to be a living epistle. A sign and a wonder. Thy will be done. Respectfully speaking, don't miss the, the, the pastor's conference. There are many, many men of God who sincerely love the Lord. If they only have a picture of how far God can take them. But there is fear. If I give up my will, how am I sure that I will not end up being a fool? Because we live in a society where some people try to obey the will of God. And then later change their mind and it looks like they failed. Nobody obeys God to the latter and fails. But if you start and turn back, it still counts that you did not start. You want to see the power of God in your life? No matter how you pray, no matter how you fast, your real prayer should not be for power. It's for the grace to walk in His will. There are many of you, God has anointed you even in business. And yet you have not taken time to discern. Lord, since I am yours, what is it that you have prepared? Oh, look at Jesus. He said, lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do your will. That is not just true for Jesus. It's true for all of us. To do your will as it is written of me. To do your will as it is written of me. Okay, my will for you is that you have Calvary Bible Church, a platform, and you will write a book and do this to the degree to which you obey that will. There is no power in existence. All these things people cry around, believe me, I'm not a stupid person and I'm not financially illiterate. Most of the things people run around saying, there is no money, there's no capital. You don't know how powerful this government is when you are in the will of God. Sometimes it's not fair to give testimonies and say things because it, it makes it look like, it may, see, the things we have seen, the things we have heard, even that which our hands have handled, if you are in a cave doing the will of God, the world will meet you there. I assure you by God. We have to pray. Let's have one prayer point. And then we'll end for tonight. Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. Let's pray the prayer that Paul prayed over the church in Colossae. Please carry this message tonight. Cherish it with all your heart. Don't just say you came and listened to a powerful man of God. Don't just say you came for, you know, the kingdom conference. Go back and say, I found the key. This is why it looks like God is far from me. This is why it looks like I keep, I, I, I keep helping others. I teach them all they need to know. And then in addition, they align all they know to the will of God. You see, the goal is not to make you a fool. The goal is to make you submitted to the will of God. For as long as as Anna wanted a child just to stop the shame of looking like she was barren, no child came. But the day she said, Lord, you are looking for a prophet. 
it is in your will. She prayed once and Eli blessed her and the child came. When he came to Gideon, he revealed his will. It was up to Gideon to obey and he got up foolishly. Even Jesus said, Father, if it be thy will, take this cup of me. But he said, nevertheless, I know the risk of going outside your will. For three and a half years now, I have excelled simply because I was in your will. I will not give up at this point. Nevertheless, the prayer tonight is going to be nevertheless. Lord, I know I have my plans and it is good to plan. But I am ready to submit my entire plan to your will. Hold on. Colossians 1.9, please. Let me read it as we wrap up. Colossians 1.9. Paul prayed a prayer over the church in Colossae. And I'm standing on the grace of your man of God. And this is our prayer tonight. As we wrap up this session. It says, for this cause, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you be filled with the knowledge of his will. Filled! The knowledge of his will. That is where my glory lies. Because his kingdom only comes where his will is done. Is someone ready to pray? Lord, nevertheless, your will be done Lord, in my life. Go ahead and pray. Nevertheless, Lord, let your Go will ahead be and done pray. in my life. Go ahead and Lord, pray. Let it be from the your depth of your heart. Over my will. Lord, I submit my will to your will. Every aspect of my life. Every area of I submit my life. to your will. Let your will prevail. Nevertheless, but your will in the name of Jesus over every situation, over every circumstance, let your will prevail in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your will be done in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your will prevail in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. In the name of Jesus.